Hey, it's Prerak and this is a very quick video on my friends 2010 Polo. This right here is a 2010 Polo 1.2 MPI in which we have added loads of goodies all OEM offered by Volkswagen. The list is pretty long which includes this beautiful maxi door cluster in which you can access a menu to change a few settings in your car and even add more warnings and features. This updated steering wheel from a modern Polo we even added cruise control to it. The BCM had to be updated to support the steering as well as cruise control. But today we are going to be adding three things. The windshield washer level sensor because the maxi dot can now display the warning for it. This hood latch switch which will display if the bonnet is open or shut in the maxi dot. And finally we will be adding OEM rear parking sensors for which my friend had all the parts arranged already. They just needed my help to wire it all in. So I thought I would share everything needed for this particular retrofit if you are planning to do the same. You will require a buzzer from any Volkswagen or Skoda vehicle. The parking sensor module this is out of a 2016 Polo. Four rear parking sensors with wiring which are already installed in the updated bumper my friend has installed and cutting all the wiring and connectors of the parking sensor module will help you a lot. We first added the windshield washer level sensor and the contact switch. But because I have a dedicated video on these two features already, I'm going to quickly skip over this and get straight to the parking sensors. For the parking sensor, I begin the process by installing the buzzer in its location first. Its location is in the driver side C pillar. The trim can just be pulled out with some force and these two holes can be seen. The buzzer fits here with two plastic locks. Some force might be required to put them in place correctly. Now to wire the rest of the PDC system, we need to remove the bumper and extend the 12 pin connector. The 12 pin connector is the one which receives all the data from the four sensors. My friend had cut the connectors from the donor vehicle. So all I needed to do was to extend the harness by color matching the wires correctly. I soldered them, added heat shrink on all of them separately and taped them all together and with that the sensor harness was ready. Now it's time for the 16 pin connector which makes the entire system work. It just needs ignition, power, ground, reverse signal and two wires to output the signal to the buzzer which will ultimately warn us for an obstacle. So one by one I wired it all in and roughly placed the module back there for now to test the functioning. A proper bracket needs to be placed here to make sure that the module doesn't rattle around. After connecting the sensor harness from the bumper to the one we wired earlier, the functioning can be tested. And as you can see, it works perfectly. That was all I wanted to share on the topic of adding OEM parking sensors to your Polo. The process and wiring will be same for all the Polo platform cars like Vento, Amio and Rapid as well. We have added a lot more than what I showed you in the video 
And if you're interested, check out this post I have uploaded on my online retrofit shop on Instagram at that red cells. If you have any further questions regarding this retrofit, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. For now though, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't leave me here high and dry